Good morning, my name is Amalia. I'm gonna be your nurse today. I'm gonna do an assessment on you and I'm gonna ask a few questions. Is that okay? Yes, that's okay. Okay, to start off, can I have your name and date of birth? Yes, my name is Diana Obergon and my birthday is February 14th, 1998. Great, how are you feeling? Right now I feel okay, but over the past couple days I've had some headaches here and there, but other than that, okay. Okay, so you've been having headaches. We can look into it a little bit more um, once we take some vitals and look at your history and what medications you're on. I do have some questions for you right now. Do you know where you are, what is the year, and who is our current president? Yes, currently I'm at the hospital. The year is 2022, and our current president is Biden. While I'm speaking to the patient, I take note of their general appearance, looking for signs of distress, but the patient is clean, does not appear disheveled, and appears like there is no distress at the moment. So Diana, I have a couple questions. Do you have any family at home? Any kids? Do you live with anyone? Anyone that can support you? Anything like that? I do have two kids at home, and I'm a pretty busy mom. We don't really get to go out much. Um, we kind of just stay inside, watch movies, that kind of thing. Um, usually order, take out, but we really don't have time. So we just kind of stay inside, but it's just me and my two kids. Yeah, so I understand, you know, being a single mom, having two kids, it can get pretty busy. Um, and you don't really have time to do much. But, you know, just in case, you know, here in Tampa, we have many places that we can go to. I have some brochures right here if you want um, at our Al Lopez Park, the community center. They do yoga there. You can bring the kids. I mean, Easter's coming up. They're doing Easter egg hunts there. You know, if you get it, maybe even 30 minutes a day, 30 minutes a couple times a week kind of helps, you know, get you active, get your family active and you know, kind of just helps your health overall. Yeah, I would actually appreciate some pamphlets. I never even thought about the park. I usually just assume everything is money and we are kind of tight these days, but no, that is true. We could go to the park. Thank you for that information. Great, also, if you don't mind, I'm just gonna take a look at your IV. Can I see your right arm over there where it is? Yeah, I just wanna make sure. Do you feel any tenderness, any burning, any pain? Anything at all? Um, no, it's been working fine. I haven't felt anything at all. Um, and when you just flush that water in, I, I didn't feel anything. Feels fine. But I'll let you know if it does get red or sore or um, burns or anything like that. Well, are you having any pain overall? And also, are you having any trouble breathing? Any chest pain? Anything like that? How's your breathing? Um, I'm not really in pain or anything at the moment and my breathing seems fine. I don't feel short of breath or anything like that So I hear your breathing's okay But while you're in the hospital we have this little little device called an incentive spirometer And we just want to make sure because you are in bed a lot want to make sure that you don't get pneumonia or anything like that and one of the easiest ways to prevent it is by Stretching out your muscles. So this little machine here will do that So all I need you to do is take a deep breath in breathe out now you're going to put your mouth on the mouthpiece, breathe in, and you want the little lever, the little piston, to go up. And you gotta keep it there for three seconds. As much as you can, let it out afterwards. If you can, try to do that maybe 10 times an hour we would like to do it. Just try to use it every hour. And that will definitely help prevent pneumonia and other complications of being in the hospital. Okay, got it, I'll make sure to use it. Thank you so much. Also, while you're here, any other symptoms that might come up that could be cardiac problems could happen, and please let us know. With women, sometimes it presents differently. Um, it's not just, oh, I'm having chest pain. So if you start feeling heartburn, any jaw pain, any ache in your shoulder, please let us know. Okay, I'll make sure to let you know. Okay, I'm also just going to listen to your breath sounds, make sure you're good. Okay, thank you. Also, when was your last bowel movement? Have you been nauseous? Anything like that? Any problems with stomach? Anything like that? No, I've been going to the bathroom pretty regularly, pretty much every day. I haven't really had nausea or vomiting, no problems there. Okay, now I'm gonna listen to your stomach sounds and I might take up to five minutes on each one just to make sure that there's nothing slowed down or maybe just too much activity, but I, I wanna take a good listen to your stomach. 
All right, didn't hear anything abnormal there. Uh, also, quick question. Have you been urinating fine? Have you been urinating well? Any odors? Any strange color? Has it been like yellow, clear? No, I don't know any odor or anything, and I've been going pretty regularly. I try to drink some water when I can, but sometimes it's juice or soda or whatever I have, but I've been urinating pretty normal, and no odor. The color has been yellow, clear. Great, so just while you're here, um, we're gonna monitor how much urine you're putting out. So I'm gonna put a bedside commode here, and I'm gonna put a little hat in there. When you urinate, just, just let us know, and I'm just gonna measure every time, just so we have accurate results, because your creatinine, it's a function, it's, a, it's an enzyme in the kidney. Um, it was a little bit high, so we just wanna make sure that you're making good urine. Okay, sounds good. Also, are you experiencing any numbness or tingling in the fingertips? No, not at all. Okay, then I'm just gonna look at some things here. Um, I'm just gonna look at your fingers, just squeeze on them, see how the blood flow is there, okay? And then, do me, I wanna see something. Just to test your, your extremity strength. I know you haven't really made any complaints about it, but just, just to establish a baseline, make sure. So can you lift both arms for me? Yeah, just like that, yep. Good, I just wanna see that they're equal. Okay, they're equal. And now I'm gonna push down on your feet, I want you to, Try to pedal up, try to push up. Good, okay, now just lift both legs. I wanna see that they're equal. Okay, one at a time, good. I'm gonna feel your pulses down here. Okay, and now on the ankle of the foot, good. Okay, I'm gonna grab your hands, grip as tight as you can. Okay, good. I didn't get to hear your heart, so I'm gonna listen for one full minute. So after taking your vital signs, I saw your blood pressure is a little high. It's in the it's 160 systolic and diastolic, um, 86. So it's it's a little bit high, and you do have a history of hypertension. I saw that you're supposed to be taking amlodipine once a day. So how have you been taking that? Sometimes I just get really busy, and I know that I'm supposed to be taking my medication, but between work and the kids and just everyday life sometimes i do miss it so it has been a couple days since i've taken my medication i understand you know it, it can get busy but you know you can set reminders on your phone you can get little pill boxes for the week put each one in each day that way you don't forget and put some reminders on your phone you know it can get busy but you don't you don't want to let your blood pressure go up because that's probably why you're getting the headache so there's a lot of being pressure being built up in um your vessels, your blood vessels. So I'll make sure to let the doctor know, but you know, we have to make sure to take that medication at once a day, how it's prescribed. Okay, I understand, I'll try to be better about it. All right, my assessment for now is done. I do have a couple other things to do. Is there anything else I can do for you? Any other questions, anything I can help you with? Um, no, I don't have any, really any other questions right now. If you could just get me some water. Okay, I'll go get that for you, thank you. I'll be right back.